So on this topic of decision making, there's a lot of research on decision fatigue, how later in the day we stop being able to process hard decisions, etc. Can you walk us through how you've structured your day in order to prioritize what you want to accomplish and, and don't fall victim to making poor decisions because of decision fatigue? Yeah, I, I think poorly would be my first answer. Um, but, but it's absolutely right. I am much better early in the morning than I am late in the afternoon or in the evening. And so I've learned that by experience. And, and so the way I structure my day basically is I get up very early and I work out. I get that done first so I don't have to think about when I'm gonna fit that in for the rest of the day. Then I come into work, I try to give myself between 30 minutes and an hour before I have anything scheduled where I go through with my assistant, we look at my schedule, we talk about stuff, I look at email, it just sort of lets me line things up and if there's something that came out that's really hot from the night before or whatever, I can deal with that so I'm not distracted as I go into uh, the day. I try to decide what decisions I'm gonna make that day and I try to, to make it not very many. And so, for example, this afternoon, I've got a meeting with our senior team here. We're gonna talk about our growth strategy. That's a big deal. And so I've sort of saved my intellectual thinking on that. And then we're gonna have another meeting after that on the redesign for the office, because we're gonna redo that. Those are two pretty big ones. What I do with other decisions, though, is I think I've got X number of decisions in me for a day, and that sounds weak, but I try to push as many decisions off as I can. My, uh, my executive assistant makes huge, dis all the decisions on my schedule, where I go. I don't even try to make them, because I found even if I make, might make something a little bit better for myself, it's not worth the intellectual commitment for me to be involved in it. I just say, tell me when I'm going, where I'm going, hand me the ticket, we'll be good. Similarly, inside the organization, I try to make my decisions be big things. We want to go in this direction. Now, don't ask me to opine on the specifics of this, this, and this, because that'll cause me to get involved to a level that's going to eat up a lot of time for me to, to educate myself on that. And then if I'm going to make a decision, that's, a, that's an intellectual and emotional time sink that comes at an opportunity cost of other things. So it's not me trying to empower uh, people in the organization because I'm a nice guy or because I want them to feel self-actualized. It's because if, if I'm going to contribute effectively, those decisions I contribute on, I've got to be very thoughtful on. I've got to be, I've got to have the energy, I've got to have the emotional buy-in to do that. Everything else should go to people down the organization. Done correctly, we sort of do that at every level in the organization. And then we come to work and I'm gonna make two big decisions today. I got plenty of time to think about them and get them right.